Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have basically understood the order in which the constructor and the init blocks get executed. It is time to move further than that. To make it simple, I will just remove the init blocks so that we don't see unnecessary messages in the console. Another small detail that I want you guys to be aware is what if I remove the primary constructor. Well, you can see that it already started giving me a error. Error saying that no value passed for parameter f name and l name. So what it is basically saying is that you have to invoke this particular constructor. But what it also means is if you implement a secondary constructor that is a parameterized constructor, then the default constructor without any parameters will not be provided by the Kotlin automatically. So if I I remove both the constructor then you will see that I am not getting any compile time error because now the default constructor is made available by the Kotlin however as soon as I make the parameterized constructor available you can only use the parameterized constructor the default constructor is no more available and if you want the default constructor to be available then you have to explicitly implement the default constructor as well so Let's move further. You can see that the instance variables first name and last name both are declared as var. And if you just remove this, that is the initialization part, if you remove, it will start giving you error saying that property must be initialized or be abstract. But you are seeing that I am already initializing it in the secondary constructor. So probably you don't want to see this particular compile time error. One way you can get rid of this particular problem is you can use a keyword called as late in it and when you declare a, any particular variable as late in it, it cannot be a nullable. So you cannot use a question mark. So you have to remove this question mark in front of the property data type. And now what you are basically telling to the compiler is, I know, I understand that the first name and last name are not initialized here, but they are going to be initialized sometime later. And right now, don't bother giving me a compile time error that the first name and last name are not initialized. So if I invoke the constructor that is parameterized constructor and then invoke person dot some random function with displays the first name it works perfectly fine we don't have any issues however instead of using the parameterized constructor i use the primary constructor without passing the parameters now you will see that we will run into a problem the problem is we declared that the first name and last name are late in it but because we have used this primary constructor and in the primary constructor the first name and last name don't get initialized and when we try to print the first name in some random function it basically throws us a exception that is uninitialized property access exception now how do we solve this well there is a very simple mechanism we can use a if statement here and write this double colon which is called as a reference operator or a class reference operator first name is initialized then only print the first name else you can print a message first name not initialized and now if we run this you will see that we basically get rid of the problem that we were seeing earlier. Okay, we have now understood how to use the late in it and what it means to use the late in it. So we will just undo the code and go back to the previous version where we had used the a normal variable with a nullable data type. So, so far what we have seen is these instance variables are of type where but it is not always necessary that the instance variables have to be of type where they can be of val also so i can just declare them as val and what basically val means you can initialize these instance variables only once so you can see that as soon as i did it i am getting a compile time error let's try to see what is the compile time error it is saying that val cannot be reassigned so what it is basically complaining is whatever this equal to null that we have done here that is a initialization and we cannot once again reinitialize the first name and last name in the secondary constructor so let's get 
rid of this as you can see it is still giving me a compilation error and the compilation error is once again the property must be initialized or be abstract well we are not talking about the abstract classes or the abstract properties here but the main problem that we are seeing here is this first name and last name are getting initialized in the secondary constructor but in the primary constructor they are not getting initialized so you cannot leave them uninitialized one way to solve this particular problem is you can write first name is equal to some empty value and then last name is equal to some empty value so now you have made sure that both of your first name and last name which are of type val variable type are now initialized once these are initialized you can't change them so what do i mean by that is if i now try to say person dot first name is equal to say anil it will give me a compile time error so it is still same old concept with respect to val and where that are applicable here there is another way in which you can get rid of the compilation error that we were getting earlier you can completely get rid of the primary constructor so now what happens is in the class there is only one way in which it can get initialized and that is through a secondary constructor and anyhow you cannot invoke the primary constructor because it is not there by default and now if i use this it works perfectly fine but once again i can't change the person dot first name to say something else it will give me a compile time error what if both of these are var type and this object is of val type that is not a problem even though the object might be of val type the internal instance variables if they are of var type you can change them however you cannot reassign the val object so what do i mean by that is i cannot write once again say person is equal to another object instantiation so now you will see that i am getting a compile time error saying that basically the val cannot be reassigned so it is still following the same old concept that we had discussed when we were discussing val and var okay so far we have seen the instance variables but we have not yet seen the setter and getter methods we shall explore that in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye